Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some exciting updates straight from the Core Punk development team. There's a lot to cover, so let's dive right in. First of all, there is a progress wipe that has been delayed about two weeks. Now set for September 16th, this gives the devs more time to work on key game systems, and they'll be using your current gameplay data to run some additional tests. It's all about improving the game so your progress is helping shape the future of Core Punk. Server stability has been a top priority, and there's been significant progress here. Technical issues and server downtimes have been reduced, and by the time we hit early access, the game should run much smoother, offering a more reliable experience for everyone. Combat is getting a major overhaul. The devs are working on enhancing the responsiveness and tactile feedback of the combat system, with adjustments to almost every ability in the game. This is a big task, but they're confident we'll see significant improvements within the next two weeks. The devs show these two GIFs, one of a character auto-attacking, and another using what looks like an AoE skill shot with no cooldown. It seems that they're insinuating that auto-attacks are gone, and that there is more active gameplay. But I've kind of doubt that is the case. I would like to see some more clarity on this. I'm really interested to see how combat shapes up after this update. Questing in Core Punk is about to get a whole lot better. Extensive improvements are being made to existing quests with updates to objectives and rewards. Plus, new quests are being added, helping you gear up for those challenging endgame encounters. They show an example here of weapons now being rewarded for a quest that used to give normal implants. So, I hope to see much better quest rewards in the future. Next, let's talk about the open world. The devs are focused on polishing this aspect of the game, and there's a new open world dungeon called The Steps coming soon. This new biome will feature elite mobs, bosses, resources, NPCs, and quests. Get ready for some serious exploration. Itemization is another area getting a lot of attention. Each of the seven primary stats, like auto attack, power, health, and armor, has corresponding crafting resources. These resources come in different tiers, and some of the rarest ones can be dropped by world bosses in the steps location. Crafting just got a lot more interesting. The synthesis machine is expanding the possibilities of crafting even further. It reduces the randomness with consumables that let you upgrade items, reroll stats, and more. Plus, you can use higher quality items to craft even better gear. And there's some fun customization too, like changing skin colors and upgrading skin quality. Passive talent branches are getting some love as well. With upgrades to each branch, you'll unlock recipes for special consumables related to your gameplay style. And soon there will be active abilities tied to artifacts and weapons, allowing for even deeper character customization. We see damage and fear effects from the warrior tree, armor and magic resist along with more thorns and AOE damage auras in the tank tree, traps, speed boosts, and aggro reductions from the hunter tree, summon a campfire, magical food, damage on basic attack, and add a dot based on damage received from the mage tree. Cooking with a campfire and invisibility while using a campfire for your allies in the pathfinder tree. For those who love PvP, there's a new full loot PvP instance on the way, a dangerous island where up to 10 players can battle it out for high rewards. And for PvE enthusiasts, new dungeons are being prepared, designed for both group and solo play, with rewards based on how efficiently you clear them. Battlegrounds are also in the works, with two new maps planned for early access or shortly after. One will feature 12 versus 12 point capture gameplay, while the other is a 10 vs 10 capture the flag mode. And there's even talk of a three lane MOBA style map coming post launch. And you can see here that they have shared some new concept art. Speaking of early access, six heroes are being prepped for launch, including the Defender, Commando, Sniper, Berserker, Pyromancer, and Warlock. More heroes are lined up for post-launch, like the Grenader and Soul Eater. There's plenty of variety coming to keep the gameplay fresh. The devs are committed to making Core Punk a rich, engaging game with deep crafting systems, versatile progression, and plenty of content to explore. Whether you love PvP, PvE, or just want to dive into crafting, there's something for everyone. And by early access, all these systems will be in place, offering a truly immersive experience. That's all for today's update. Core Punk is shaping up to be an incredible game, and your feedback is helping make it even better. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.